The inside, middle, outside drill is really the reason why this T was invented. To be able to have the hitter from the same hitting mechanic and the same stroke be able to make contact at both inside, middle, and outside positions. We're going to show you how that works. You take the T and you rotate it. So the inside pitch is out front and the outside pitch is deeper into the hitting zone. Stagger the T-tops. Now this allows back clearance for any position that I call out. So as a coach, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out which one of these balls to hit when he comes into the load position. So he should be able to hit any one of these balls I call out. And here we go. Middle. Outside. Inside. So as you can see, a couple of things here. That really illustrates how you can let the outside pitch get deeper, hit the inside pitch out front. He's reacting to uh, the call out, so he's able to react, so he's not able to change his feet location. It also testifies to the stability of the tee. You're able to see that without any added extra weight, it's able to keep those balls on that tee all the way through the hitting progression. So in the inside, middle, outside drill, it allows that mechanic to be established for all three of those contact positions. Remember, do this drill at low, intermediate, and high T position so that you can get the muscle mechanics for every one of those hitting locations. Another way to execute this drill in a little more advanced way is take a laser pointer and stand behind the player and point to the location. So he's visually from the back sees the laser pointer location inside, middle, and out and reacts off of that visual cue. That way, he's reacting just as he does when he sees a ball coming in visually versus sound from a coach. But either way is a great way to train inside, middle, and outside.